let us quickly show off the team, as this is the playthrough section, so I will quickly get for the team. Monkey, the level 64 Infernape, firefighting type, holding a charcoal. Quirky nature, blaze for the ability, flamethrower, flame wheel, acrobatics, and mark punch. Pepper Boy, level 62. Drapion, poison dark type, holding a dread plate. Serious nature, battle armor for its ability, crunch, cross poison, knock off, and toxic. Progo, the level 63 Luxray, electric type, leftovers as its held item. Adamant Nature, Intimidate for its ability, Spark, Volt Switch, Crunch, and Thundershock. Alexabuzz, the level 63 Electabuzz, Electric type, Zap Plate for the ability. Naughty Nature, Static for its ability, Thunderbolt, Discharge, Thunder Punch, Low Kick. Dark, the level 62 Lucario, Fighting Steel type, holding a Fist Plate. Relaxed Nature, Inner Focus for the ability, Aura Sphere, Metal Claw, Meteor Mash, and Counter. I knew I had one more Pokemon, I keep forgetting it every time. Piranha, the level 64 Garchomp, Dragon Ground type, holding an Earth Plate. Modest Nature, Sand Veil for its ability, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Dragon Breath, and Ball Doze. That is the team. What is it? Do you want to set sail to the battle zone? Yes. Aye aye then. Let's set sail. Oh, hey, Zach. What took you so long? I'm finding you a hundred million Pokey Dollars. Picker, my man! Why does Picker hate me so much, chat? Honestly. I don't understand why Picker hates me so much that he's finding me a hundred million. I don't even have a hundred thousand because I spent all my money because I did shiny hunting yesterday. Listen up. I'm going to be the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here. To toughen up myself and my Pokemon. I thought he was going to fight us then. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that. But the greatest trainer ever? That's going to be really tough, because you're talking about me. To prove it, I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You really don't know anything, do you? All right, I'll tell you. This is the battle zone, okay? At its far end is a volcano, and deep inside that volcano, there's supposed to be a treasure. So, what's the big deal? If I find the treasure first, that'll make me the greatest trainer ever? Then that's what I'll do, Zack, and to you too, stranger. That treasure is mine. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya! Oh, okay. That guy just can't stay put, can he? Anyways. Howdy, I'm Buck. And if that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. So. Do you know that Zippity Dippity Trainer? Zippity Dippity is an amazing word. You should chase after that guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You better shape up the battle tower first. I don't like your chances of getting to the volcano otherwise. Be seeing you. Okay. Oh, there's berries and stuff here. Not cool. Whenever I travel somewhere new, I get excited over what I might discover. But the places I've visited before, even those can thrill me with new discoveries. Volcanic activity has caused the land around here to become craggy. It's hard enough to hike over such rough terrain, even without all the ups and downs. There are no pit stops on the road to toughness. I just made that up, but it sounds pretty cool, don't you think? But what if there is pit stops though? You never know. The Pokemon's League Elite Four come here sometimes. Interesting. There's a guy here, and I'm not sure if it's here or if it's somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure there is a guy here that gives us the Super Rod. He was one of those early eccentrics who were around during the first days of the Battle Zone. Well, I was too. Gotta love the old people. Yo, a poor chick? nice 
The battle zone used to attract only the hardiness of trainers. They were considered an eccentric for gathering at a place like this. It's hard to believe how much it's changed since then. Places like the fight area and the survival area just seem to spring up overnight. Even from here, we can see the peak of Mount Coronet. Most people didn't notice what happened up there, but I did. But I don't know what took place exactly, or anything like that. Everyone's fanatical about battling. I wouldn't shock me considering this is the battle zone. Like, come on. We want to see people eccentric or whatever they said about battling. Oh sweet, you can go everywhere. <gasps> Chat real quick, I'm gonna go back so you can hear. Listen to this. Oh. It's even better with the DS sounds, I think. Where is the DS sounds? Here we go. This place always sounds awesome. This music is like, apart from Lake Acuity and Yuxi, is some of my fondest memories with this game. At least Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. This, awesome. Legit awesome. Same with the fight area. Fight area always sounded good. Epic music, I agree. Your Pokemon are from Sinnoh, aren't they? Well, excuse me. We used to sing some of those kinds around here. Are you technically saying that this is not a part of Sinnoh? A lot of Smoochum have appeared around Lake Acuity, noted. Ah, here's the guy. Uh-huh. Nothing as super duper as a super rod, wouldn't you agree? Uh-huh. Super duper minds think alike. Take this super rod. Uh-huh. Super rod. Awesome, awesome fishing idea. The best fishing rod in the game. Bar none. It may or may not also mean that there's like 66 bazillion Pokemon now available. Try your luck at fishing wherever there's water. Very sus? What do you mean? The super rod's awesome. You don't believe me? I'm gonna use the super rod right now. I'm gonna use the super rod right now. Where is the super rod? There it is. Use this item. We're gonna get an awesome Pokemon right here. Route 230. I know we can surf here, but hey. Here's a cool Pokemon. Enjoy. Probably a Gyarados. It is a Gyarados. All we get is Gyarados. It's all Gyarados. I still have the Pokey Radar up because I want to do some radar hunting a little bit later off stream, not on stream. Because it takes a while to do Pokey Radar hunts. Speaking of artillery. Yeah. 45? The Pokemon here are ridiculously lower leveled than I expected. I was expecting some higher level Mons. Oh, and there's trainers and other things around here as well. Doesn't surprise me. Yo! New Pokemon! Dugong! Ooh, it's actually the rarest Pokemon we can get around here as well. Easy catch. Zack is on fire a little bit. Dugong's data will be added to the Pokedex. Dugong, the sea lion Pokemon. In snow, the pure white coat covering its body obscures it from predators. 
Yeah. We already know what to call this. Drac... Dracula. I'm going to double check that I spelled that correctly. Because I'm not quite sure. Dracula. We did it. Send to a box. If you know the meaning behind that nickname, you know. But if you don't know, I would suggest watching the Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. Seal! Another new Pokemon. Another new pocket monster. And this one you guys can nickname, as that is a critical capture. Easy. Sea Lion. Good name. Steel's data will be added to the Pokedex. Steel, the Sea Lion Pokemon. Well done, Builder Pro. This Pokemon lives on icebergs. It uses the sharp point on its head to break up ice as it swims in the sea. Sea Lion. Sea Lion was the first name in the chat, so it is being called Sea Lion. That also actually reminded me that we caught something off stream, which is Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. For some time after its birth, it grows by, uh, by taking nourishment from the seed on its back. We can catch starter Pokemon down in the Grand Underground. Uh, which I would like to show off now, while we have the time. Beep. As this is also technically a new area of the Grand Underground. Let's see what this place is. Fountain Spring Cave, which has another Dugong in it. Nice. Ooh, Surskit, a Seal, a Dratini, a Corsola, and a Lickitung. And another Dugong, just to spite me. Hello, I'm Shane. Subterranean volcanoes and icy lakes, Pokemon Highway. All of them. Rocky Cave. <gasps> Vibrava. Ooh, Vibrava is a good mon. I do like Vibrava a lot. Mainly because it turns into Flygon. Stop giving me Diglett, please. Stop giving me a Diglett, please. I do not want Diglett. Ooh, Firestone. Oops. Nice Firestone. What else can we get? I believe that's a blue shard. It is a blue shard. And another one of those. Excellente. Excellente. I'm kind of glad that we can finish up the last big area of the um, game. I flew Cavern. Ooh, there's an item over there. Is that a Sentret? Is that TM-71 Stone Edge? Alright. That's a Sentret. That is a Sentret. Why is there just a random Sentret? And Overheat's here as well. Alright. And Furret. It's the boy. Everybody loves Furret. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's cool. I forgot how cool this place looks. Let's go. You're a new person. Was that a shiny Diglett? Did I just see things right? Or was that just like an extremely bright Diglett? Because that Diglett looked insanely bright. A volcanic cave as well? Bro. I can't wait to see. I know that people have already done randomizers for this for this game. Are you are you 
Are you good? I already know people did um, randomizers for this game. So it would be kind of interesting to see what type of Pokemon can appear in the Grand Underground during that. It's all, all of it is just Volcanic Caves. Mate! 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 It the boy! It the tiny baby boy! Hello, Chimcha! Heckin' Chimcha. That is the third different starter we've seen down here in the underground. Which means that now is a good time to mention every every starter up to generation four can be found in the grand underground. Which is awesome. Who doesn't love catching another Chimcha? Oh, who does not love running away from camera ops? Be me. Oh god. Ah, I got stuck! Because these heckin' grimers, or gravelers, excuse me, are a pain in the butt. Let's head back over to the area. Welcome back, it is good to see you. What isn't good to see is these Pokemon. <laughs> Full on shiny Palapa! What the frick is happening? That's two streams in a row with a shiny. That's two streams in a row with a shiny Pokemon. Oh my god! Shiny! Clip! Please clip! Level up for Dark and Purple Boy. What the frick is this? That's two streams in a row. That's a full on shiny Palapa. That's a freaking full on shiny! Goodbye. Goodbye.